So talking a bit more about the nesting of template values. Sometimes the nesting can be very deep. You can have a function that returns a type such as a pair, which has its first argument in int, containing as a second argument a pair, and so on and so on, which contains a second argument a pair and so on. Uh, wow, that's a lot to write as a data type. And a user must create a variable and declare this variable of this type if they want to use it. It's very tedious to write. It, it includes a lot of replicated code and it's difficult to debug and maintain. Um, to do that, to fix the situation, there is a new data type in C++, which is the auto data type. So it's a keyword that specifies that the type of the variable is that is being declared can be and should be automatically deducted from the initial initialization by the compiler. So what does it mean? Well, I can say I have a var1, which has this auto type, and I have to initialize it with, for example, whatever function PPP returns. Yeah, And now the compiler, of course, knows function PPP returns this long type here. So it knows, OK, var1 is of this long type. So that's very easy. And also, I can use it to assign between different variables. So I can say var2 equals var1 plus 5 or something, if that is, if that is um, a valid option, operation. Um, yeah, so the compiler always attempts to infer the type from the R value of an assignment. From the, that means from the signature of a function or an expression. So that works most of the time and it's really convenient. 